All right, so in this short video, we're going to be talking about the consumer buying process and how that works, and even how your consumers and your prospects, at what point they are in this certain stages when they're finding you online. So what I mean by that is, you know, some people, when they're just starting their search for something, they're completely unaware that they have a problem, right? Most of the time, the reason that people buy something is to solve a problem, but some people are unaware that they even have a problem. So they're starting their research at the opposite end of the scale with something like a, a short term keyword like shoes, right? They don't know what they want yet. They're just typing in shoes. They don't know what kind. They don't know what color. They don't know what brand, nothing. They just choose. So that's a person that doesn't really know what the problem is yet because maybe they have wide feet so they need wide shoes maybe they're going to a special dress up occasion so they need special dress up shoes right so first of all stage one is unaware they're unaware that there's a problem so these people need the most amount of research or I'm sorry they need the most amount of information they don't know exactly where to go yet they don't exactly know what the issue is so therefore they're they're kind of lost so at this stage of the game we need to educate them right so this is the first the first step that anyone any stranger has with you online their cold traffic, they're considered cold traffic, their prospects, they don't know you, they don't like you, and they don't trust you yet because they just, they have no experience with you. So therefore, they need to be educated on what you can do for them and how you offer what you do. Then of course, there's stage number two, which is problem aware. And they begin to ask themselves, what is my problem? And they border on you know beginning how can i solve this problem but first they need to even understand that there is a problem so let's say for example let's just stick with the shoe analogy for a moment they need to go buy shoes but the problem is they have wide feet and they're not finding the shoes that they want so therefore the problem is that they have wide feet and they need to find wide shoes. So as they become more aware through research and information, they now know, oh, I have wide feet, so I need wide shoes, and they become more solution aware, which is stage three. How do I solve my problem, right? That's what they're asking themselves. So when people are in this stage two, there's going to be lots of question type of keywords and keyword phrases. So maybe things like, where can I buy wide shoes? Or that may be even a stage three type of question because they know, ah, they need wide shoes. So the question is gonna be, where can I buy wide shoes? Maybe something in the problem aware would be, why aren't my shoes fitting properly? Or why are my shoes too tight? You know, anything along those lines like that. And then, of course, as they continue on to become more aware of the products and solutions and brands that are out there, then, of course, they're eventually going to become brand aware. And the decision is going to be, well, is this company the right partner for me or is this company over here the right partner for me? And that's where they begin comparison shopping between multiple brands. So stage four is where that comparison shopping begins to take place on a larger scale. And then of course, you have your post purchase where it's important to cultivate culture within your brand and company. So right after someone purchases with you, that's the perfect time to ask how they enjoyed the buying experience, how they enjoyed the product, and if they wanna leave a review, that would be the best time to ask for that. So this is the consumer buying process in a nutshell. And this stays the same no matter what industry you're in. Every buyer goes through these five stages when they do business with someone. It's 
how everything goes. They first are unaware that there's a problem, then they're educated that there is a problem, they are then become problem aware, then they become solution aware, then they become brand aware, and they ask who is the right provider to work with. And then of course, whoever they decide to work with, they will become a part of their culture in one form or another. How we use this is basically, you know, unaware would be things like your short tail keywords. You know, things just like shoes. Then for stage two, you would have things like, why don't my shoes fit right? Or, you know, why do my shoes pinch my feet, right? And then where can I find wide shoes, wide dress shoes? Just wide shoes, that, that works too, right? So we're just getting more, more in depth as to what these problems are. And again, I want you to just see uh, uh, through these examples of kind of the mindset that people are in when they ask some of these questions. And the reason that I wanna give you all this is because not only is this going to help you multiply your, your keyword ideas and give you more keyword ideas, it's going to also help put you in the mind of the person who is searching. It's gonna put you in the mind of, of your prospect and help you identify what types of keywords you should use at what parts of your funnel or the buying process, right? So maybe when people are just finding you for the first time and they come across a blog post, maybe it's why are my shoes pinching my feet? And that could be the blog post. And then inside there, you go on to say, well, if you have extra wide feet or if you have large feet, then you need to find wide shoes or you need to find shoes that will fit you properly. And then you go on to explain where they can find that. And then of course, here in stage four, as they begin becoming their solution aware, now they're becoming more brand aware and they're becoming aware of the different brands that they can work with. Now they're asking, are you the right partner? So some keyword phrases may be things like, um, the best wide shoe brand, right? Something like that. And for post-purchase, you're not gonna have too many keywords that people are searching, so that's not as important. Um, maybe a good example would be something like reviews because people do search for reviews in hopes of seeing the social proof. So maybe something like, wide oops wide dress shoe reviews that might be one so i hope this has been helpful in giving you more of an idea of you know the different types of keywords that people use at different points in their buying process i think that's important to know and um, if anything, it's just more helpful in giving you more ideas to go off of. And again, it, I think it's most helpful when you're sorting through all of these keywords. It gives you an idea of where to place and where to use certain terms. So with that being said, I hope this has been short and helpful for you. Join me in the next video as we continue on.